Hello, and welcome to Recipes with Ben. In today's video, I'm making the candy cane martini that was featured in the most recent Netflix holiday movie, The Princess Switch 3, Romancing the Star. This holiday-themed cocktail is made up of four parts that include vodka, creme de menthe, raspberry liqueur, and peppermint extract. So the first step is to make our own creme de menthe from scratch, which will begin with one quarter cup of fresh mint. I'm adding the mint to a mason jar and then I'm going to add a neutral spirit to extract the mint flavor. For my creme de menthe, I'm adding one quarter cup of vodka and adding that to the mason jar that already had the mint. Then placing the lid on top of the jar and shaking it to increase the contact with the mint. Then I'll let the mint steep inside that vodka for at least 12 hours. I came back the next morning and used the muddler to model the mint into the vodka and let that continue to steep for an additional four hours after that point. The color changed from clear to kind of a light-ish green. And then to make the rest of the creme menthe, I poured the mint vodka mixture over a strainer to catch the mint into a clean mason jar. To that, I added one quarter cup of homemade simple syrup, which is easily made by heating up equal portions of sugar and water to a boil until it fully dissolves. There you have homemade creme de menthe that will taste just as good as commercial stuff, if not better. So now let's move to making the candy cane martini. There are three items you'll need to make this, which include a cocktail shaker, a jigger to measure out the liquor, and of course, an ugly Christmas sweater. Now to the shaker, first add three ice cubes, and then when it's time for adding the alcohol, which will be made up of two parts or two jiggers worth of vodka. And then one part or one jigger's worth of the homemade creme de menthe. And finally, a half a jigger's worth of raspberry liqueur to give this drink a festive red color. Then to enhance the candy cane flavor, I'm adding one drop of peppermint extract and placing that on the spoon and then stirring it into the liquor. Then place the lid on top of the shaker and make sure it's on tight before shaking the ice with the liquor until the outside of the shaker is very, very cold to the touch. Now it's time for assembly. In the movie, the rim of the martini glass was lined with crushed candy canes. And the easiest method I found to do this is to first place a candy cane inside a plastic bag and smash it up to tiny pieces with something flat like a ramekin or a rolling pin. Then place the crushed candy canes onto a plate so they can be rolled into later. To get the candy canes to stick to the rim of the glass, Add some simple syrup into a ramekin or some kind of bowl and dip the martini glass into the simple syrup and coat the rim with that sugary liquid. And then roll the martini glass into the candy canes and so the whole room is covered, which may take a couple of different ways to fully cover it with candy canes. And then pour the cocktail from the shaker into the glass and enjoy the seasonal inspired cocktail while watching one of your favorite holiday movies on your favorite streaming service. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button for binge worthy cocktails and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon.